Welcome to the kitchen, people. I have Chef Natty though. You see? Yeah, we used to get my energy. Ooh, get it. Where is our, our, our okay, so where is our plantain? We have very little plantain <laughs> yeah, today. Just little. Just little. It's just not the main. It's not the main. Yeah. Okay, okay. So we have Chef Natudo from Nathaniel, sorry, from Natido Cuisine. Yep. I hope people have been sending in your orders. Yo, I hope you've been sending in your orders. Yo, yo, yo. Oh, but this morning, what are we going to be making? So we're going to be making bruschetta. Hey, yeah, come. Which yeah. country are we going to? It's a kind of Italian dish. But we came back to Nigeria last yes, week. Now, so what You wanted to travel. You know, that they are um, moving the lockdown restrictions. So yeah, so you just feel like you want to travel. Exactly. All right. So that's the major reason why we have this. this. What kind of bread is this? It's baguette or French loaf. Okay, baguette or French yeah. loaf. So when you go to Paris, this is a kind of bread they'll serve you? Exactly. So what what, what does it have that we don't have in our bread? Well... Or what does it, do, what doesn't it have that we have? Texture, size. Yeah. yeah. At least it's this kind of bread in Nigeria. But, I mean, is our aggregate bread like this? No, uh, it's not. It's not strong. It's strong. Yeah. So why is it strong? What they put in it? Uh, it's just the kind of um, what is flour actually what yeah, they put flour. In it. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. But we aggregate lovers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> aggregate bread lovers, to be specific. Okay, so we're making bas bruschetta. Bite, bite bruschetta. Bite. Okay, bruschetta. Yeah. Okay, okay. So and we have. Um, we have chicken. Chicken. We have basil. Basil, okay. Plantain, plantain vegetable, vegetable oil, oil, bell peppers, bell peppers garlic, onions. tomatoes, okay. egg, and, and spices. Six spices. Yeah. All right. We so let's bread. get to it. So we'll what start we first? with. Because I'm going to shred the chicken. Oh, okay, okay. So we're going to spice it. Up. So just some spices. Okay, so are we marinating this for no, a just bit? Okay, you know what? We're going to stick to um, spicing this and get into the preparations. Uh, but we're going to go on a break. When we come back, uh, Titi is going to be having a very interesting interview. Don't go anywhere. We're back here. Um, Chef Nathaniel has uh, marinated the chicken and we're going to fry it now. Yes. So how come, why didn't we leave it for a bit? You know, you usually leave it for like 10 minutes. Um, just for, because it is um, tiny. So okay. I don't think it's the big one. You need oh, okay, everything. So we've got already cut it. So we don't want it to be too spicy. Spicy, okay. So can you use any part of the chicken, not necessarily bread, because this is not chicken breast. Yes, it's so not. So you can use so any can, part. Yeah, although you should not use the one that there's too much bone. fat, bone, oh, fat, or okay. skin. Okay. So it's just more of the flesh that you Okay. Use. All right. Yes. So after we do this, we're, we're going to let me guess. We're going to lace it with egg. Yes. And then breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs. Okay. Okay. So, so as to add a kind of coating. Coating. So why 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 aren't we using flour today? Uh, I choose to use breadcrumbs. Use breadcrumb, but you could use flour. Yes. So that means if we're going to use flour, and we can we'll also use biscuits. The way, I did it the way you did it the last time. Okay, so you brought actual breadcrumbs this time, yes. not, biscuit. not biscuit. In case breadcrumbs. you missed the last time Chef Nathaniel um, used biscuit to coat chicken, you might want to catch up on that on our YouTube channel, TVC Entertainment. Uh, just check for the kitchen segment that had Chef Nathaniel, and you'll see how he actually used biscuit to, um, it, it, to replace breadcrumbs. They are really amazing ways he makes his food. So if you're at home and you want to coat your chicken and you don't have um, bread, bread crumbs, you have biscuits, you could just, you know, I won't tell you what, what to do. <laughs> Go and catch up on YouTube and find out for yourself. So this bread, the bell peppers and yeah. the um, basil leaf yeah. is going to add more color. To it. Okay. Like this kind of break, breakfast is mm -hmm. just a layering kind of breakfast. breakfast so it's not okay. like you are putting something. It's not like a burger kind yeah, of it's not thing. like a burger. So you just, so it depends. The actual um, ingredient is the tomato. Okay. Tomatoes okay. and this. This. Yes. I'm so waiting to see how this can, comes out. That's why I brought plantain, plantain. Just to give it different. You always bring plantain. <laughs> yeah, because, most of, because most, most of the food that I prepare are not common to Nigerians. Nigerians so yeah. just to... To bring it home. Yes, because one thing about cooking and any other thing is that if yeah. you don't need to go too far, yeah. then you need to embrace the culture. culture yeah. So once you are preparing food that is somehow strange, yes, people yeah. know really, but there's hardly any 
Nigerian Again family in Nigerian that have. doesn't like plantain. Okay, so let's quickly so, run so. through our menu for our bruschetta. We have garlic, bell peppers, breadcrumbs, mozzarella cheese, chopped plantain, tomatoes, egg salsa, baguettes, steak seasoning, and shredded chicken. Yes. That if you're just joining us, we're making Natito's bruschetta with this Paris bread that is like a rock. <laughs> so, since we are still going to fry it again, okay, it so you don't to, fry it too much, yes, okay, okay. You might want to take note of that. But I feel like for, I don't know, maybe just like my, my personal reservations. Every and time also, to, yeah? we we'll need to allow it to cool down. So by the time we coat it with the, uh, mm. with the egg and yeah. everything. So that's why we did it first. Oh, okay, so okay, 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 okay. yes. Cool. So you didn't cut the plantain today? No. So we're just having like Nigerian style. Exactly. Not Nathaniel style. It's only okay. about surprise, so <laughs> I don't become too predictable. <laughs> Well, this is surprising. And another, another thing is that as I fried the chicken first before the mm -hmm. plantain, yeah. some of the flavor and the yeah, spices is got, there. Oh, so great. That's so the plantain, you see? We still have a little something, something of Nathaniel. Okay. So we fried so, that. So what are we working on next? So let me just move that away. Yes, and continue doing this. So the bread is going to come last, last okay. because of uh, so that it will not be cold. Okay. So we are going to do the bread last. So I just want to get all this because after frying the plantain, we are going to stir fry stir the fried. vegetables, yeah. which are going to use in the plate. In the and plate, and okay. Now. And that is where this would the come. The basil in. comes in. Yes. So if you are watching, like I was watching the show yesterday, and mm. I was the, the chef that was cooking. I started to take things, take note, and take take things down. So you might be feeling like, eh, it's not like I'm going to eat it. So it's not basically just for you to eat it now. You might want to just jot down a thing or two so that one day when you're just strolling in the market, you could just be like, oh, let me check my phone notes. I think Chef Nathaniel did this and you see bell peppers and you're trying to remember what's the other thing, what's the other thing. You just don't know. You just might prepare this for yourself at home. So you might want to take notes and take jot things down. Because these are things that we readily find in our markets. Yes, I mean, yes. apart from the ba this baguette one you have to get bread. it in the mall. There's in the, no other from place supermarkets, yes, yeah. Supermarkets but I mean, you know, you could just go the agege style. And funny style. enough, exactly, funny enough, you can still use the agege bread. Yeah. Funny Which I feel like. Activities. So, I mean, although you definitely can use the soft one. So, eh. those strong ones. Is there All a those reason brown why? It if has you use the soft one, mm -hmm. it will be too. <laughs> Which English you like? <laughs> because this bread is naturally kind of strong. So strong, yeah. if it's the soft one, you might not really get the full the feeling. Yeah. feeling. But yes. you shall eat it. Yeah. <laughs> Which is Who the is major not key. Who does not just about eating? I to have some. <laughs> the major key. Exactly. So just okay. Plantains get it done. Okay, so while we're allowing the plantain to fry, we're going to go on a quick break. Don't go anywhere. We definitely want to see how this baguette bread is going to turn out. So stay with us. We'll be right back. So we're making our bruschetta, and um, we've done a lot of the frying. So if you're just joining us, we have Chef Nathaniel from Natito's Cuisine, and we're making bruschetta. We've decided to travel again today. And we have the baguette. And we have our chicken, which we fried, we marinated and fried, our bell peppers, onions, and then the plantain. Now we've broken our eggs and we have our breadcrumbs, uh, breadcrumbs here. So now we decided to come to show you this live so you can be part of the process. We're going to, uh, it's not called marinating, we're going to coat it, coat it with the eggs, yeah? First dip it, in the First egg. dip it okay. Okay. And it's also important to note that the chicken we didn't fry it too deep. Too deep, yes, because yes. Because we're going yes. to fry it again. So again, yes. Yeah. I'll just move this so here just a bit. Yeah. Cut it a bit. And the reason for coating, for dipping it inside egg is so that it's going to stick. Stick, of course, of course. The bread crumbs. Bread if we crumbs. just put it directly, it's going to fall off. Yeah, of course. And that's why we first fried the chicken so that we'll give it time for it to cook. To cook, oh, yes. yes. 
So it's the first thing that you fry when you're making your bruschetta. Because so if you just fry it immediately and want to do it, the egg will cook on exactly. You <laughs> even got to the egg. You see, cooking. chef talk by hey. Yes. Yeah, so now we're gonna put it here. Yep. Okay. So did you? Is the oil still on fire? No, no. Oh, so it doesn't have to be hot, hot, no. hot. Okay. This is interesting. All right. We use that to eat bread. Exactly. <laughs> Normal agigi bread. Agigi bread. <laughs> okay. I can see how that is going. So by so that now, we now fry it to not be very it's not crunchy. It's be like all those supermarket <laughs> chicken. Yes. We got it. <laughs> those fast food, all those restaurants. If you want to show me, I'm always for showing off. You want to show off, show your cooking skills. Chef Nathaniel just showed you how to make your own coated chicken. Can you remember and then to be the, crunchy, the, crunchy. The, the other time that I use Gary. Yes, yes, yes. So and you can also sense. have Gary as an alternative. See, eh? Wake Up Nigeria is just the best place to be. Apart from what happens in the kitchen, there's so much to learn. But we're going to go on a break. The second hour is up. Uh, well, Wake Up Nigeria continues right after this break. Do not go anywhere. Welcome back to the kitchen, people. I have Chef Nathaniel with me, and we're still in the process of making our bruschetta. And now we have chopped, <laughs> because this is not slicing, but we've sliced the baguette bread. And trust me, guys, you have to use like a jigsaw. Yeah, because the bread to is strong. go through the bread. The, strong bread, the so. bread is hard. You know what the level your bread too. gets to in our Nigerian bread that you throw it away that is too hard? <laughs> That's this bread. <laughs> okay, yeah, so now what have we been doing? So we've been doing our egg salsa. So okay. salsa is just the, the Mexican name for sauce. Oh, okay, so okay. we're gonna have egg sauce and a little of this. Of that, okay, this, so. okay. So this is just gonna, when are we gonna fry this? After, okay, After let's we fry this. Okay, that would still we'll do still this. We'll still do one. that, okay. Because it will take all the, the oil, oil so yeah. Just. Okay, so the same, so what the um, peppers and onions it's that we fried? Little just little onions. onions, okay. These are for the um, final garnishing. Yes. We've not put atarudo. Well, well, no, it's just. Well, no, it's the wow. just so if you're a pepper paste. lover, you might want to add it by yourself. Exactly. So just. Okay, with um, tinned tomatoes. Yep. So do we have to use, make this salsa when no. we're preparing you don't, um, the bruschetta? Not actually composition. So it's just like a side? Yes, so it's just, okay. so, like I said, it's... The this major thing, thing is layering. Yes, just layer so you can do it the way you want. Okay. But the basically, it's usually tomato. Tomatoes, okay. And um, the bread. Bread so and the chicken. you can also add chicken fish or oh i get you so basically the bruschetta is the bread, bread and, and the tomatoes. tomato so it's oh. kind of like a sauce so it's always red oh, you okay. even go I online you just type in bruschetta. bruschetta you just see the bread and red tomatoes, tomatoes. So, oh okay so, so this is like your yes. your um 2.0 version exactly all right all right <laughs> and if i should do it that way alone yeah it will somehow look boring for nigerians yes. you know we like those extra, guys extra. over there. Their food is just they can just take one small thing and, and they eat But we, we like. We have to let you know. You know, let them yeah. know. So. <laughs> just, so. Okay, it's so we we'll make the salsa. So that means it's also possible for. I'm just thinking now. Mm. Possible like you're making a burger, so you could use this um, salsa yes. in the burger. Uh, there are different. Okay. If you see that some people's burger, eh? yeah. Hey, if you see some people's burger, you would think ah. This one went to school in Harvard. Exactly. <laughs> so not just the basic cheddar yeah. cheese and that yeah, yeah, is yeah, boring. Yeah. You see some do it. They'll do it well. So. so next is the eggs. Yeah. Okay. So it's like an egg sauce. Yes, yeah, so I don't want to use the an English egg, tomato sauce. egg sauce. Yeah. So once you No, this is not this is not egg sauce yeah. because of the tomatoes. Yes, yeah, so just so. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. With Chef Nathaniel, you're always learning something. So once that is done a bit, yeah. it will have soaked the little oil. That's why I reduced it. So well, this okay. one will be used to fry this, this chicken. Okay. So as okay. the coating would 
No, as it is now. It has even stuck exactly. already. Exactly. So by the time we fry it, it's not been. Crush, crush, crush. Now layer it down there. Okay. But so when we layer it, are we going to double it? No, no. It's just like it's this. Just, so you're just going to eat it like, like oimbo? Yes. <laughs> All right. So right after that, what do we do with the basil? Are we going to chop it? We're going to. Okay, we're going to put it and there. It's just for, for garnishing. garnishing. Okay, so. I get you. I'm following. And then the chicken. <laughs> Y'all are laughing at me. I'm following, man. I'm going it's to do to my follow. own. You and can be like me and This kind of breakfast yours, is also yeah? good for now that we are now working from, from home. home. So you don't need to, can just have just little. Yeah, and these are things that you, you have in your house. I yes, mean, apart from this. Apart from the, every yes. other thing. I mean, you can just go and just stand on your streets and just wait for the next Agege bread seller exactly. <laughs> and buy yours so and make clean this. Yeah, with your bell peppers and your egg and your tomatoes and your chicken and your um, bread crumbs. If you don't have bread crumbs, you could crush your biscuits and have biscuit crumbs. Oh, I like the way this egg sauce looks. It's totally different. All right, you know what? Before I get all distracted with this, you definitely want to stick around. Let's go on a break. We'll be right back. Back in the kitchen, we're making our bruschetta. We have Chef Nathaniel, and I've, I'm sure I've mentioned this so many times, but I'm really interested in this. It's the baguette bread that we use a saw <laughs> to cut through. Yes, yeah, so yeah, now... Yeah, are we this, pan frying? Yes, just to soften it so, a bit. You see, so we have to do soft. Uh, that's, the, that's the nature of the bread. So. so if you're at home and you want to try this and you feel like you don't want to go through the has hustle of getting hard bread, just buy our agege. That bread keeps saving lives. Like, since 1864. Since, since it was invented. I'm sure it was before 1864. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we have fried our chicken that when we shredded and... We used um, breadcrumbs. breadcrumbs to, I won't say marinate, to coat, coat yes. yes. And we have our bell peppers and our onions, and we have the basil and the egg sauce that um, he used tin tomatoes to actually achieve. Now, you might want to try that. I think you could also use that to eat your normal bread, yeah. um, maybe noodles, whatever you want to make. I think it's, it's an int a new, interesting way to make, to scramble your eggs. So after this, that's when we're going to start the layering. Oshé. I want to see where we're going to put the basil. Okay. We're going to chop it up. We're just going to so put it. just going to put it at the top. Oh, at the, oh, okay, okay. So this is done. And our plantain. Yeah. Our signature yeah. plantain. The prince of Nigerian food. As, <laughs> and yes. The king is. I think, Nathaniel is asking plantain itself <laughs> to endorse exactly. him. Exactly. I don't know if plantains can now talk. <laughs> You'll be surprised. I'll be surprised. This I mean, is Nigeria. I didn't think I'm up with <laughs> So this is so is it possible to use a toast machine to make yes, this? Yes. But, but if you, you don't have one, put this in, in a toast machine yes. actually. So you can even use sliced bread. Yeah. Sliced bread then toast it. Toast it, okay. Then, then do this. Yes, so. But remember it's the baguette bread. Yes, that is. Because if you use agege bread and if you use um, uh, sliced, bread. sliced bread, you are you are no more doing bruschetta. Bruschetta, you are yeah. Doing you're yeah, doing so brusque. The thigh is not oh, there. So once you just remove one thing, it becomes a different meal. Oh, it could be their own bruschetta creation. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to start with the, with the layering. Yeah. Okay. So let me just get a little spoon. Start it. Yep. All right. Yeah. So, so let's watch closely for the layering. I need to get my. So this is another way. This okay. is another different way of eating your bread and egg. Okay, so you know what? While we're going to do our first layering, um, we have Mike on standby to take an interview. But when we come back, you're going to see how we achieved the entire bruschetta. Mike is all yours. Uh, we've also been with Chef Nathaniel of Natido's Cuisine. Yes. All right, so you want to tell us how far? What's good? So we eat? made Natido's bruschetta. Mm. Okay. And we used baguette bread, mm -hmm. which is French loaf. And we fried our chicken. We shredded it, then coated it with egg and 
breadcrumbs okay. and we also fried our vegetables, bell peppers, onions, and our plantain. And here we are. All right. Voila. And also egg salsa, hmm. egg and tomato sauce. Goodness. So. In English, it's so just egg everything. Yes, all egg joined. Egg so all together, now call it bruschetta. Look at that. Look at that. So. And we use the crumbs to for plating as well, yes. yeah? Just so. so do the honors. Do the okay. honors. Okay, okay. I would Let's see. Uh, Where do you in, the middle? in the middle? Yeah. In the middle? In the middle. Yes. Okay. Okay. Ah. Oh, boy. So everything it's like planting, a ship chicken, journey. Everything. Yes. There we go. It's a submarine. Oh. Wow. Whoa. Mm. <laughs> Remember we had Janet Day 2 on air. Remember? <laughs> <laughs> got you there but we have had a great time chef nathaniel you're amazing we always appreciate you being here and your work honestly you know we're just all keeping cool because when the camera goes off we will now lose some training pounce <laughs> but uh, it's been a great show it's thursday already the week is almost over yeah we'll see you tomorrow bye-bye all right bye, -bye. bye.